Have you heard of any extended length 18 by 20, 98 square inch rackets lately? Well, you have now. This is the Selenko Whiteout XTD 305 18 by 20. Blending precision with power, this is a unique racket as it's extended in length by a half inch, has a 98 square inch head, a strong weight at 11.4 ounces, a healthy swing weight just over 330, a 21.7 millimeter beam, and an 18 by 20 string pattern. The result? A solid feel, mass to put balls away, stability against big hitters, and precision. Not to mention a little extra reach and plow through. A must try for everyone who loves extended rackets. I went into this playtest with no expectations, but after that very first hit, I absolutely loved this racket. I felt really confident in my shots, and the 18 by 20 string pattern really helped me being very precise to hit my targets. Um, I found a great amount of plow through from this racket, so even I could rally really well, but I could put balls away. Then at net, I found it to be super precise, really stable, maneuverable, and I loved it on serves too. However, because I was loving this racket so much, in the middle of the play test, I had to pull out that extended wide out 16 by 19 racket just to compare and see which one I liked a little bit better. Truth be told, that 16 by 19 just has a tiny bit more plow behind the ball. And if I were able to, I would customize this 1820 a tiny bit, adding a little bit of a weight into the head. But all in all, this 18 by 20 racket really is tempting for me. And I think it's one that's gonna be in my bag for the rest of the year. I probably have to fight some of the play testers for it. I was really interested to play test this racket because I'm a huge fan of 1820 string patterns. I also like longer length rackets. This one's got both of those going for it. So the first thing I was interested in was, is this racket still gonna offer a, lot of, offer a lot of power? And the answer is yes. Still get a ton of pop on my ground strokes and serve, getting plenty of pace on my shots. And I thought the ball was coming through the court really well. So when I would hit to the corners, the ball was penetrating nicely, really putting my opponent on the back foot. And then at net, uh, I love that extra reach. I could really knife the ball to get some good um, driving slice if I was given time on either the forehand or the backhand volley. And then I could cup under the ball too. So I had nice stability when I was just bleeding pace off and hitting my drop volleys. Uh, one of my favorite shots to hit with it, not surprisingly, was my backhand slice. Just because I got that dense string bed to grab the ball, the added length for a little extra leverage. I could flick the wrist, go either down the line or cross court at the last instant and really keep my opponent on their toes with that shot. So that was the highlight for me. Still a little bit too much power in this racket for me, so I'd string it up higher than I normally would, use a nice thick gauge coat poly, and uh, that definitely helped me add some control. But uh, yeah, fun play test. Really enjoyed the play test of Selenko's new 18 main version of the 305 XTD. Really enjoyed this. I mean, I can break this uh, racket down into where the power and control sources are, which just fits my game for whatever reason. But 305 grams worth of weight-based power, a little bit of extended length, leverage-based power. Um, you're definitely feeling some energy return. It is a firm layup of graphite, 21.7 millimeter beam. And then the 98 head size and the 1820 pattern seems to really tame and mute that all, making it a lot more um, just accessible. It's a really easy for me to play with racket. It makes tennis easier. Uh, Chris did mention something about the backhand slice. I always feel that extended length frames, particularly ones with tight patterns, really kind of complement that shot. And it's not only a reset shot, it's almost a borderline offensive instead of defensive uh, one. But overall, just a very versatile racket. Love serving with it, love backhand, top spin, inside out. There really wasn't a lot that I couldn't do. Wasn't gonna be able to blame the racket on anything for my quality or percentages. And a lot of people are aware that I've been playing with the Boom Pro, which is a 310 gram frame, standard length. Uh, this is where I make my official uh, mentioning that I'm gonna switch to this racket. So it's not like a big leap from one to the other. For me, I feel like length is the thing that takes is the closest to taking the place of actual mass. So even though it's a little lighter frame, it's a little longer, it really compensates nicely. That extra reach really benefits my game. One of my favorite play tests of the year so far. Like the other play testers, uh, I am also a big fan of this racket, this extended length uh, 1820 wide out. Um, comparing it pretty closely to the 1619 version, there was a couple things that um, I didn't quite love about the 1619. It felt just a little bit firm and I felt at times just a little bit disconnected from the ball. And I think the 1820 version really uh, fixes that. Uh, I felt very connected from the baseline. Uh, up at net, I really noticed that uh, dense string bed giving me a little more connection to my volleys. I really felt like I could place them and be very, very precise. 
And I don't think the stiffness rating was very much different from the 1619, but it just felt um, a little bit more plush, a little bit more dampened. So I really, really like that about this 1820 version. Um, as with the extended length, um, kind of like my Ezo 98 Plus, got pretty easy power. Not quite as much bite and spin, but on the flat first serves, um, just really, really good pace on the ball. So um, whether I was hitting with spin from the baseline or uh, flatter strokes, um, sort of that, that slice backhand, um, just really enjoyed this racket. Um, I want to say like Mark, I'm pretty close to switching to this, but I'll keep hitting with it and just a really fun play test for me. We strung up this racket with a bunch of different strings, but we absolutely loved it with Selenko Hyper G at 52 pounds. To learn more about this racket, be sure to visit us at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.